comfort you with scriptures and exhort you to help build your faith, man. You know? Because I, I, I have went through that same thing, man. Thinking like, man, you know, man, Lord ain't dealing with me. You be, you be, you be angry. But I, I didn't call certain brothers. Brothers, be, they just talk. The brothers that call me. That's what we do. That we here for each other. You know? healing effect on you okay it says to another the same spirit the gift of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning spirit so certain brothers can prophesy real good you know certain brothers they can talk man they can talk you know but that same man who prophesied he he might know he might quote scriptures and he, he can't remember what he had. But you you had that other brother that's there that has that knowledge that, that was giving the knowledge. Boom! I got that scripture for you. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a body. It's like a like a cohesive unit, man. You know, it's like a machine. It's oil. Okay. You know. He spoke of one brother at, uh, working miracles, man. You know. And that's going to come too. That what brother's going to get a spiritual power. To some brothers, hey, hey, if they talk to a brother and they going through certain things, if a brother help them out, they might be like, hey, that was a miracle within it itself. You know? Shoot, you know? Shit, brother might need some help financially. Ain't nobody got none. All of a sudden, the Lord will have something happen where the same brother who didn't have nothing, he got it for you. 24 hours later. That's almost like a miracle. You know? That's a miracle within itself. Alright? And it says, uh, another discerning of spirits is certain brothers to read people's spirits, man. Whether whether Jake is humble or whether a Jake uh, uh, got demons on him or whatever. You know, we didn't see it before. People come to camps, and you got one brother that's reading his spirit. He might whisper to another brother, "Hey, he ain't right." And Jacob be there shaking his head like he down, like he humble. Then next thing you know, that brother tell another brother, "Hey, dude, ain't right. I can read his spirit." Next thing you know, man, demon jump on him, then he go to be a super scoffer. With that within itself, that discerning of spirits, that's a miracle. To be able to read somebody. Just by looking at it, okay? Uh, and it says, another diverse kinds of tongue and to another interpretation of tongue. That's why we have brothers. We have brothers in the truth. They speak different languages, man, right? You got a Southern kingdom, right? In the Southern kingdom, we got brothers uh, that speak that Patois, which is the Haiti language. Right? We got brothers that speak that right now. We got brothers who speak Spanish, right? The Northern tribe that speak Spanish, right? Which is, that's a, uh, you probably have different dialects, which different countries you go to. But you got, you got brothers, uh, GMS Germany, the brothers speak, those speak Dutch, right? And you got brothers who woke up in the land of Africa that speak the dialect of the language they come from, okay? You got brothers in uh, uh, Italy, they speak in Italian, you know? So being able to interpret different type of tongues, that's not that stuff where y'all go into the church and you fall out and you be, you be gargling and that voice come out of your mouth. That's a demon, man. Nobody don't know how to understand that. The scripture tell you, you gotta be able to interpret that, man. You speaking that stuff, man. You gotta be able to tell people what you're talking about. 
So the Lord gave us diverse tongues. You could come up, uh, 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 a brother, uh, you might have a group of people from Guatemala come by and they don't know what you're saying because they don't speak English. But then we have a brother in the camp that speaks that dialect of Spanish they speak and he can, he can relate and, and the edification still go out. Okay? And it says, uh, but all these that work it, that one in the self same spirit. All these is working in the same same machine, man. Okay. Uh, but all these working one in the self same spirit, dividing to every man several as he will, is his ability as he will. Okay. There'd be something special if you got a man that can do all that. You know, you got a man that do those, those are special men, man. You know? Man, that's, those are real special men that all those we just went over. To be able to do all those, man, those, that's real special. Okay? And it says, for as the body is one and have many members, and all the members, all the members, of that one body being many are one but so are in a masyak so all of all of them all of them we part of that one body man masyak yahweh shai man like i said yahweh shai left he left he left his knowledge his wisdom and understanding man okay chapter 1 Corinthians 12 and 28 I start 27 now ye are the body of a Mashiach and members in particular so we all members of Yahweh Shai Mashiach you know whether you have a small part or a big part you're part of that body okay whether your part is small or whether it's big so if you're in a camp and you feel like man they ain't let me read hey they got you pulling posts Spirit I already know. Pull post for a while. You gotta get built up. Certain brothers might come in and can't read. They might not never hold post. Some might come in and hold post and go from post to to uh, speaking. You just never know the lane the Lord got you going down. Each each lane that you in, that's the lane that the Lord has you in at this particular moment. And we all working for that bigger, better man of the kingdom. Because he said, uh, what did he tell uh, uh, the disciples? Uh, in uh, Matthew, Matthew 19, I think it was. He told them, uh, 19 and 28. How shall I say unto them, Verily I say unto you, that, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, right? When the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory, meaning in the kingdom, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay? So this is a big part of it, man. We part of that body, man. Okay, we trying to that that bigger picture. Okay, we trying to play our part, whether it's a small part, but we trying to obtain that that kingdom and judge the twelve tribes of Israel. Because 144 gonna be the men that's gonna be governing and on this next level. So every part you playing is special, man. Okay, who knows if you if you if you hold a post if you hold post for three years and you never read. If you never read in a camp or you hold post for three years, guess what? When you get in the kingdom, your fortress might be the, the best one. You might have the best uh, guards on, on your post in your kingdom because the Lord put the spirit on you to hold post and you became good at holding post. So when you get in the kingdom, you'll, you'll, be, you'll have one of the tightest fortresses of men standing probably than any other brother. 
Okay? So you have to remember it like that, man. It's all, we all playing our part, man. If you're a small part, play it like it's like it's the, it's the last part you're gonna play, and then it's part of the, the biggest part. That's how you play it, okay? If you're a reader, you read to the best of your ability.